Hello YouTubers, this is Jacques Gaines from The Moving Icon and I am here to talk to you about the Sony FDR-AX100. Uh, it's a handy cam by Sony and it's super high quality and it films in 4K. And they just released a firmware update to 3.1, which brings you two new features. One is autofocus, better autofocus, and number two is 4K, improved 4K bit depth at 100 megabits. Stay tuned. Hello YouTubers, this is kind of a review, sort of, uh, I'm all excited about the fact that this camera now does uh, 4K at 100 megabits, so let's like just, you know, maybe get into this right away. Um, now I'm going to talk about the good a bit talk about the bad, show you some sample footage. That's why we're filming all of this in 4K so that you can see the sample footage at its full resolution. Uh, if you have a 4K display in your house or a tablet that actually does have 4K, it always looks a bit better, this review. So it's up to you, go get it and look at it. Uh, hope you enjoy. <music> First good point is that Sony has had a hidden sort of history of excellent audio. Now, these people have been working in the recording industry for years. Their mixers, their microphones, their preamps have been known around the world to be just the highest of quality, and it shows. It shows in this camera the microphone capsule, the sound quality on most of their camcorders, even the lower ends. Uh, we, I'm thinking of the VG uh, line of cameras, the VG10, VG30, VG, VG9, uh, 900, 300. All these cameras have excellent audio quality, and this is no exception. The AX100 has fantastic audio quality. You don't even have to worry about it. And trust me, it is one of my goals. Focus magnification on this camera is really, really good. I talk about this because my focusing capabilities uh, are a bit rough. It's probably one of the biggest challenges I have as a cameraman is that uh, I'm not dead on all the time and I'm working at it. And anytime there's some sort of way of working better on my focus, I like it when a camera offers those type of features. And the AX100 has a fantastic focusing magnification system. You press a side button on the side, which says just basically focus magnification. When you press that button, you can work with the touch screen and use arrows to move back and forth on your framing. It's not Chinese, it happens quick. You point to the area you want to focus in and it'll go to that uh, area within the frame. You use your focusing ring and you're spot on and you start filming. You can also do this focusing and this focus magnification while the camera's filming, which is also an added bonus. <laughs> Now, I also use this camera in a, on a very rainy day. It is not weather sealed, but at the same time, it does hold well for raindrops and stuff like that. And so I just wanted to say it's not a super delicate camera. It can be used, uh, uh, you know, if it's rainy, if it's humid out there, you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> Now, this is one of the reasons why I'm making this video is because I have downloaded the 3.1 firmware upgrade, which by the way is easy to do. And I have uh, been amazed at the quality of the XAVCS uh, codec and the quality of the footage. XAVCS is already to me just absolutely stunning. These guys invented AVCHD, which I still think is amazing to this day, and the XAVCS is stunning, stunning footage. And you take that XAVCS and you bring it up to the bandwidth of 100 megabits a second, and you have some excellent, excellent quality footage. <laughs> Now, autofocus has improved. It is snappy, quick, and very, very intuitive. So it's one of the reasons why this 3.1 update makes just brings the quality of this camera up. Now, the built-in ND filters, 
a lot of people don't realize this camera has three densities of ND filters. There's three densities of ND filters. I have been using it these days in nature photography and I found it very useful. I was filming during a sunset. I wanted to film straight in the sunset. I put the ND filter on three and I was filming directly into the sun and my contrast, everything was coming out beautifully. It was just super sharp. <laughs> Now, let's talk about the lens on this camera. Now, the range of this camera is an 18x, and that's huge. I mean, it goes from wide to 18x. And when you say large range, you also have to compromise with quality. And for some reason, this Zeiss lens really kicks ass along the whole range. When you're wide, when you're zoomed in, it is sharp 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 as hell for the type of lens that it is another cool thing about this camera is that focus is retained no matter where you're zooming so let's say you frame into something you go and you get your focus on that frame thing you have and you decide later on to back off your zoom rocker to get a different framing but you still want that same thing in focus it keeps the focus on the thing you focused in on and that is not the case with all cameras sometimes you lose focus as you go back and forth so those are some of the good points I wanted to mention about this camera. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, for my high quality stuff, check out Behance. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up at the bottom. Uh, and if you want to keep in cahoots with what I do, subscribe. And don't forget, everybody, keep on making something from nothing.